right, so back in medieval England, again, 11th to 12th centuries, a king decided to kind of test the people in his kingdom. So he took this really, really big boulder, and he put it in the center of a road, kind of just outside the kingdom. Like, still in the kingdom, but outside the main part, outside of, say, downtown. He wanted to see who would move the boulder out of the road. And he hid behind some bushes, and he just watched and he was sitting there for like four hours, and a lot of people came by. And these are some, you know, some of the most prominent people in the kingdom, some wealthy merchants, some nobility. And every person, without fail, instead of trying to move the boulder out of the way, they would just kind of grumble and complain about it and go around it. Like one person was saying, you know, I can't believe the king's not keeping the roads clear. We pay all these taxes. You know, what do we do? Why are we paying all these taxes if we can't keep the roads clear? Everybody was just kind of complaining about it, not really, not, not doing anything about it at all, not moving. Finally, this, you know, not really wealthy looking villager, he's carrying some vegetables, his clothes are all tattered and torn, he gets the boulder and he stops, he puts down his vegetables, kind of looks at it for a second, and goes up against the boulder and starts struggling to move it out of the way, he's pushing and pushing and pushing as hard as he can, and the king, you know, he's tempted to go out and help, he wants to see how long this guy's going to stick with it. Eventually, this peasant farmer, he finally gets the boulder out of the way after struggling with it for a good 20 minutes. He finally gets it out of the road. And underneath the boulder is this little bag filled with gold coins and a note from the king. And the note said, this is a reward for whomever decides to remove this obstacle from the path. And that farmer learned a very, very valuable lesson that you cannot reap any sort of reward unless you remove the obstacles from your path. So let's say, guys, let's say one of your goals is to get higher grades. Maybe you're getting all B pluses and you want to go to A minuses. But instead of studying, when you get home and working on your homework, you watch TV. Is that going to help you get your grades higher? Everyone say, no, sir. No, yes. sir. So the TV is kind of an obstacle. We've got to learn to remove it. So maybe you don't get to watch TV until after all your studying is done. Let's say here at Karate, you want to get your kick better. That spin hook kick, you want to get it looking perfect. When you go home, you don't ever really practice. And when you're here, you're not really trying your hardest. You're kind of practicing Wimpy and Sloppy. Clearly, that's an obstacle. And if you're practicing Wimpy and Sloppy, is your kick ever going to be great? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. So how do we remove that obstacle? Instead of practicing Wimpy and Sloppy, how should we practice? Yes. Like when we don't have anything to do, we could practice some. Right, absolutely. Instead of practicing Wimpy and Sloppy, we need to practice and make it the best we possibly can. Because what kind of what kind of practice makes perfect? Perfect practice, right? If you practice Wimpy and Sloppy, it's always going to be that way. And clearly, you know how you practice if it's Wimpy and Sloppy, that's an obstacle. If we practice and make it the best we possibly can every time, then we've removed that obstacle. So we're not going to get any better. We're not going to achieve anything until we figure out what the obstacles are that are holding us back and we get them out of the way. Make sense, guys? Yes. Everyone stand.